Alright guys, so welcome to this video and here we're going to add the to do task list add task form. So let's go back to our editor and here we're going to go down to our div and let's make sure this is the right div that I want to edit. So this one is the panel div. Alright, so right after this one we want to say break and then h1 to do task list app. So this is um our title right there. So now let's create the form. So that's another that's another panel, it's a panel info. So below so below here we're going to say uh, panel so div panel panel info and uh, panel heading then h3 text center add new task so if we refresh the page whoops refresh here so we have our add new task so let's actually create the form inside it so let's go back down here and next after panel heading we go panel body and in our panel body we're going to say call sm8 call sm offset 2 and then here we're going to have two divs so the first one is going to be called completion progress gray bar and inside here we're going to have another div called completion progress green bar and here we're going to say 80 percent just as a temporary number so if we go back so we actually are going to take this class and we're going to go to the top and we're going to create a custom style so style and then here we're going to say this class and then we're going to give it a background color of light steel blue and then we're going to go down and say we're going to go back here and we're going to copy this class completion progress green bar copy this and then once you have that copied we want to go back up here and we go completion progress green bar and then here we're going to give it a width of 80 percent because that's what we said a height of 30 pixels and a background color of lime green so if we go back down here I believe we have to have a uh, text center class right here so text center so the 80% is viewed at the center so if you refresh the page here we have oops not here refresh the page here we have a add new task so I think um, it should be it should be green but it's not showing so let's just go back and see what's wrong so if we actually inspect element element um, okay guys so I figured out what was wrong and what was wrong is that in our styles I added in a comma so you don't want a comma there so you want to delete that and once you refresh the page you have our 80% div bar with our proper width so now that we have our add new task bar added let's create or our uh, complete progress bar added let's um oh actually never mind I completed completely made this in the wrong area so let's uh let's actually change this and um we're going to go down here and instead of this going to be uh panel info this is going to be panel success and it's going to be completion progress bar so if we go back here refresh the page uh, completion progress bar I think um, this should be panel success with a dash refresh the page okay there you go this is what we want so if we go back here the completion progress bar is complete and now we have to go back and create the add new task uh, form and button so to do that let's go back to our code so this time we're going to create it right above here and in between the header so we're going to go back down here 
and we're going to say panel and this time the real one panel info and here we're going to create a class of panel heading and also a class of panel body and here we're going to say h3 text center and add new task and now in the uh, panel body we want to create a form and we're not going to create any actions right now because we're not actually going to submit this form is all purely going to be VJS and then next one we're going to say call SM8 and this will be input type text and we're going to give it a class of uh, form control so that it spans the whole width and then we're going to create a column of column SM4 and then a input of uh, class button button primary and then this will have a value oh and uh, primary button primary and also button block so that also spans the whole width of the div and then we want to add a value of add refresh the page and there you go we have to add new task uh, panel as well so now let's go back to see what we have to create next next we have to create the statistics so to do that we are actually going to uh, do it in the next lecture series so i'll see you guys in the next video